hello ladies welcome once again to my channel so wonderful and i'm wonderful and today i'm very excited about this topic and i'll be sharing my own thoughts and tips on how to create a size chart for your fashion business uh, for your sewing business or if you're one of those who would like to start your own um, fashion line either made to wear or ready to wear and of course by now you should know the difference between made to wear and ready to wear and just in case you don't know that difference i have a video um, i'll put the link to the video in my description um, it's detailed watch it so you get more understanding on that watch it after this video okay so um, for this there are several things i'll be touching on for you to be able to create a size chart that is functional and that is close to accurate i'll be sharing with you quick tips on how to calculate the different country sizes at the top of your head. I'll also be sharing with you how to get the right figures um, for the size chart because that can be quite tricky. And then I'll also be sharing with you how to develop um, a range of figures for your size charts depending on the business model that you want to use or that you currently use and lastly i'll be giving you homework and assignments and i want to see your input on that okay so let's get started first is country sizes they are different the different countries use different sizes but the most common ones are the us sizes the uk sizes and european sizes but for today um, i'll just be talking about mostly the uk and the us size now um, the difference between the uk size the difference in number and the U us size is four just put that in your memory four is the difference for the uk size their numbers usually start from a higher number than that of the us so for um, example if you have a size and they're even numbers yes even numbers if you have a size um, 8 in UK the difference like I said is 4 so what you're going to do is to subtract 4 from that 8 and you get your US size figure so the numbers for US is smaller than the same size in UK okay so for US size many clothing lines not all but many um, start with US size 4 of course if it's a very 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 slim person then that person will be US size 2 so let's just start with US size 2 there's also a US size 0 as well just to be inclusive let's start with um, size 2 or even size 0 okay so for size 0 um, US what you want to do like i said the difference is four you add four to if you want to get a uk size and you have the us number you add four if you want want to get um a us number and you have the uk number you subtract four okay because like i said bigger number so you take from it to get the smaller number which is in us size okay so size um zero in us would be size four in uk size two it's even number so there's always a two difference for each size so the next size for us is size 2 size 2 us would be what 2 plus what 4 good would be size 6 in uk so typically uk sizes start from size 4 which is someone who is really really slim so you don't really get to see that number in many clothing um, lines in their size charts okay so um let's just do a quick um practice for that so if someone says hey i'm a u.s size 16 what would that person be in uk size mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you're getting it yes 16 plus 4 that would be a size 20 in uk okay and if someone says hey i'm a u.s i'm a uk size 12 what would that be in u.s size okay that would be what yeah yeah that's a us size 8 okay so uk 12 us 8 the difference is 4 all right so now that you have that never get confused just in case in the future someone says hey i loved this outfit i saw on your page or wherever and i want you to make it and they have no idea what their bust waist hip and all of that is and they just say oh i'm a size 6 us you don't want to start racking your brain hey i'm finished okay you just know okay if you already have an idea of uk sizes you know that okay that's six plus four that's a uk 10 okay or the person says i'm a uk 10 and you're more familiar with us sizes you do the necessary reduction to get the us size and then you continue working all right but it's always good to help have, have both of them to know both of them and even include them in your size chart when you're creating your size chart so that those who 
use us sizes can see us sizes and look at the boss and then choose it and then place their order all right so that's the first one the second one is getting your figures right now for me what has worked for me is starting with your own measurements no matter your size because sometimes it can be quite tricky you're looking for your own size in the different size charts that you have and let me um, advise it's always good to do screenshots of you know african brands or whatever brands you follow that do ready to wear me to wear just get a screenshot of their um, size chart i have more than 15 okay and i've shared many brands here on my different videos go to their um, bio go to their about page on website or on instagram wherever and just click on it and most times they put up their size chart or their highlights and do a screenshot you use that for research purposes when you're about to create your own size chart so sometimes your size chart may not even be the same as someone else's own but it works for you okay and you see it from when you're doing screenshots or you already have screenshots you'd see that there is a difference in the same uk size maybe size 8 there's a difference in hips from this brand a and brand b okay but it works perfectly for them so i'm getting to that shortly so like i said it's always good to start with your own measurement take your own measurements and then with all these different size charts that you have look through and see the one that fits perfectly okay or fits almost perfectly so for example for me i'm a uk size 12 okay so my bust is 38 my waist depending on you know my weight challenges can be 13 and a half or 31 okay and then my hips is always fluctuating between 40 and a half and 41 all right so um sometimes 41 and a half but it's always within that range now for me when i go to one of these size charts that i have sometimes i see that they are uk size 12 the hip stops at 41 and what if i've gained a bit of weight so my own weight my own weight figures serves as a guide for me and i decide that okay this is what i'm sticking to so when i'm developing the smaller sizes and the bigger sizes i know what to do using my own size as the base you may not use your exact size you may take maybe 0.5 out of it or what but it's good that you know yours and you fix yours in the right sizes so that it can help you develop to the left and to the right okay so that's it then the second thing is there is usually a difference of two two inches between each size so for example um, one size has size 36 as bust the next size usually is 38 then the next size is 40 the next size is um, 42 the same thing for waist if you have a waist of maybe 28 usually the next size whether uk or us is um, 30 28 30 32 before 28 26 okay so you just want to keep that in mind that usually is the case and then when you're getting to the really plus size it can increase to from two to three okay the difference in sizes and also that's the second thing just know that when you're developing so for me i said i'm a uk size 12 and my boss is 38 sometimes it can be 37 and a half depending on the brand where okay so if i want to develop for uk size 10 i'm a 12 uk size 10 is a us size 6 yes if i want to develop for a uk size 10 i all i'll do for the boss is 38 minus 2 i get the boss size for the um, size just before my own and if i want to develop for uk size 14 all i'll do is add two inches to my um 38 inches which is 40 and then i have for that and that's the same thing i'll do for my waist if my waist is 31 then i'll take it here and take it there now for the bust usually it's the bust waist and hips measurement like i said i'm going to talk more about that shortly it depends on your business model okay um, if you're doing tops or bottoms or dresses these are the three basic sizes then some people just including their caption oh the height trouser length is so so and so for taller people it's so so and so comes with a, um, a slightly more price and all but usually what you see is bust waist hips shoulder and the rest of that that you figure out that you don't want to start stressing you know your potential customers with all of that bust waist hips that's usually if you want to add any down feel free okay so another thing is that sometimes and some size chats their um, waist figure or their boss figure may be in odd numbers so it must not always be 30 32 i'm getting to that shortly but i just want you to know that yours can be 31 you know 33 35 it's totally fine as long as you have done the work and there is a difference usually difference of two between each sizes you're good to go whether it's 
odd number or even number you're using it can be 35 37 39 that's totally fine okay so that's it so note that um also now another thing is the 0.5 half half inch trick or tip okay so a friend of mine um was developing her size chart years back when she was doing her creating her fashion line and she used that 0.5 um um trick in creating her her size chart so for the waist she would have maybe 30.5 the next one would be 32.5 or maybe 31.5 the next one would be 33.5 and it worked for her when she was having a photo shoot she was out of the country i decided to assist and go over to where they were having a photo shoot and she specifically asked me to measure each of the persons her friends that came around to help wear the outfits and do the photo shoot you gotta do what you gotta do when you're starting your fashion line you, there's no enough ones to start hiring models um if you're on a budget so it was more of friends coming in to help out wear the clothes you know and do all of that so i measured them and funny enough many of them were on the plus size or quite chubby um the figures I got, most of them had that 0.5 in their fingers, in their bust, in their waist, in their hips. And she was so excited. She was like, God, because she used from her own figures to develop, you know, to the left side and to the right side so it was what worked for her for me i have a bit of even numbers 0.5 and a bit of odd numbers okay but that worked for her and she kept to that size chart and it was good it was her, her business everything that she did for that photo shoot sold out okay so it's it's different folks for different people don't get stuck on because brand a is using this you must use it and maybe it doesn't work for you all right another thing i always um i also suggest is you already have measurements if you're already sewing you have measurements of people go through it look at this person's measurements this person's measurements when you see it you can be able to say ah you rukayat okay i see that you're a us size 6 ah so this one is a uk size 14 and all it starts helping you understand and then you'll be be able to dis uh, determine okay i think i want to add that 0.5 you know to my figures maybe for the waist or for the days remembering that each size has usually a two inch difference okay so maybe 30.5 the next one will be 32.5 or 31.5 the next one will be 33.5 so you can also adapt that 0.5 or half 0.5 is half or half inch rule when you're um, creating for whether the bust the hips or the waist any of them or all of them that's totally fine now another thing with size chart is like I'd earlier on said is it depends on your business model okay are you going to be sewing loose fitting clothing are you going to be sewing clothing or making clothing that have that elasticated have elastic or are they going to be fitted clothing and of course when you're when we're talking about size charts we mean for ready to wear or made to wear because bespoke they come and you take their measurements so you want to first of all determine that for people there are many fashion brands and i've shared them here like i said that do kimonos they do shorts their shorts have elastic watch out for um something have something coming up for you that will be next week they do um you know outfits that have elastic skirts and all of that maybe everywhere or by the side or something but it's always usually loose fitting it's not fitted you can't see like a tailored pants um, in their own um, business model in their brand and all so for those kind of if if that's what you're after okay and you're starting out you're not like seasoned in the business you may want to add um, consider using range of sizes for each dress size so for example for a um uh, let's say you do kimonos and all of these things that i said um for my size let me use my size uk12 and i said my bust is 38 okay i may want to make it as 38 to 39 inches because like i said the difference between the the size and the next size is usually two inches right so if uk size 12 is 38 inches for me okay and that means uk size 14 will be 40 inches so for uk size 12 somebody may come and when she takes a measurement her boss is 38.5 and she's looking at your size chart hey how will, which one will i use now there's no 38.5 or maybe she's 39 and all she's seeing is uk size 12 38 uk 14 40 and she's like i'm 39 how weird do i fit in okay so if you know that they're not fitted outfits you're making my own size chart um that's what i did okay so you can 
create a range 38 39 like the difference can be one inch and then as you're going towards the plus size okay um let's say uk size 16 18 and the rest of them okay it can now be the difference can now be one and a half inches instead of just one inch okay so you just take your time study it and let me tell you it's a size chart that you continue to tweak and tweak and tweak even me i've looked at my size chart and i'm like why is this one 40 41.5 it should be 41 so i tweak it again and then i update it wherever it is on the website or my um, business pages and all of that okay so also develop that for the boss for the waist because you know that you're adding elastic even if the person has a waist size of 32 someone with 31 and a half can wear it someone with 32 and a half can wear it even someone with 33 can wear it okay because the elastic will snatch the waist back to where it ought to be so just make yours flexible but remember that it should be the difference should be one inch and then later on to plus size one and a half inches okay so you don't want to take 30 to 34 and then one person in one dress size is like ah no 34 is supposed to be here is then that will not be correcting you god forbid okay we must level up all right so um that's one thing you want to do create a range for your sizes then if your um if your business model is making tight fitted clothes like maybe bustiers and the rest of them then you can stick to your one figure for each of them and anyone who has issues and is really serious to um, patronize you would definitely send you a dm you know asking you hey my boss is 39 um this and then depending on your business model like i said you can say oh we can tweak it for you or oh, sorry ma'am this is all we have because it's already pre-made watch the video that i i'll put in my link in description okay so um that's it for creating your size chart so when you see some size charts that have ranges you may want to look at their outfit and you see that okay they have loose fitting outfits even those that do that have loose fitting outfits sometimes they just put one one figure but they know how to work it but like i said if you're a beginner start with that so that you are not overwhelmed with people asking you questions or you know you're already palpitating is this person actually size is their waist actually size 36 i'm not even understanding put it there so that when they reach out to you they're like hey i see that this ends with 37 but i'm 37 and a half you note it down okay and with all of the um, inquiries coming and the people you're measuring even whether you're sewing for them or not like any female in your house come please let me measure you i used to do that a lot and it helped me that when people you know um reach out to me here i want this and want that because of my experience in measuring all sorts of sizes i'm able to just quickly you know get on board and all of that so keep measuring people just make sure you write their names write their ways everything and then use it and always refer back to it or for research or for improving your size chart because it's not a one-time thing okay so my homework for you now, my assignment for you is for you to go create your own custom size charts. And like I said, start with yours first. That's number one. Gather more data from people around you or people that can send in their measurements, whether they're customers or friends. Gather data from them. Also gather data from already made size charts from different um, brands out there that you know, that you research for. And then use that and create your size charts. Remember that for the country sizes, UK and US, the difference is four in their numbers. And then for the specific sizes, boss, waist, hips, the difference between each um, the difference between each sizes is usually two inches also remember that for range sizes for each size you can have the range the difference as one inch or one and a half inches okay so using all of this that i've explained already um, create your own size chart feel free to send me a message on instagram or an email i'm um, sharing with me and i can just look through it um the um, very few first set of people that do that i'll definitely respond but always feel free or tag me on your stories if you've posted on your business page or wherever i'd love to see um, yours when you create it and um, like i said go watch the video between um, about the difference between made to wear and ready to wear it's really really important that you know these things when you're starting out okay and then one more thing once you're done with your size charts and um, you've created yours you've done your homework you can use the canva app to um, get your size chart so for me i use the canva app for mine i just drew lines and then typed the figures in in there and there are many other apps you can use for those of you who already you know have different kinds of apps on your phone but don't sweat it make one and then anytime you want to tweak it or you want to change a certain figure or you want to upgrade it or update it you can just um, go back to your app and then you just switch the figures and you do what you need to do so just don't sweat it 
start with one and then you keep tweaking it until you're finally comfortable with the size chart that you have and i'll see you in my next video i have a tutorial coming up on tiered skirts making it for yourself or for little girls really easy perfect for beginners so look out for that video next week okay thank you so much for watching and um, if this video was um, beneficial to you please like subscribe and share help me share my videos to people that you know would benefit from this thank you so much once again and have a great week ahead bye